Microsoft Word document and I'm going to go from start to finish on how to set it up in Microsoft Word. This is 2010. I'm going to show you how to set it up in APA style. Okay, the first thing you want to do, click on Page Layout. Then click on Margins. And make sure that you've got Normal selected. That's one inch on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. The next thing you want to do is to click on Insert. And the thing that you're going to insert is a header. And you want to insert a blank header. The next thing you want to do is make sure there is a check mark in different first page. Make sure there is a check mark in different first page. Then you type in the words running, the word head, colon, and then your shortened title in all caps. You use the space bar or the tab key to move your cursor all the way over to the far right. And you go to insert again. And this time you're going to insert a page number. You drop down menu. You select current position. Plane number one. And that completes the header for your title page. To exit the header area, double click on the tab first page header. Now bring your cursor down to the approximate center of the page. Go up to Home and select Center Alignment or Center Text. And while you're up there, also go ahead, click on line and paragraph spacing, and select 2.0 for double spacing. And then type in your title and regular title capitalization. Hit the space bar one time, you'll double space. Put in your name, hit enter one time, put in the name of your school. Now with your cursor exactly where it is, you go up to insert and page break. You're on the next page. Here's your title page. Here's your next page. Now you're going to insert, click on insert. Now you're going to insert your remaining header. So you click on header, blank, and this time you type in, in all caps, computer security. Tab over, or use space bar, move over and insert page number current position and it will be page 2. Now you don't have to do anything else to the header area. It's now going to repeat that with the correct page number on every page of your paper. Then double click on the tab to exit the header area. Type in the word abstract Hit enter one time. Click on the home row. And we're going to align text left. Do not indent the first line of your abstract paragraph. And keep in mind that your, your abstract paragraph this is a, because this is a short essay. An abstract paragraph should be three lines, four lines at most. After you've typed in your abstract, go to Insert, 
and page break. You're on your first body page. There it is. Home ribbon. Center text. And now you type in your full title. Or you could just copy and paste it from the title page. Hit enter one time. You go up to align text left. This time you do indent a half space, half inch space, by hitting the tab key one time and begin your introduction paragraph with a half inch indentation. Then type in the rest the paragraph being sure not to hit enter at the end of the line. Okay, after you've got your introduction written, you copy and paste from your outline. Your thesis statement should be the last sentence of your introduction paragraph. And after you've gotten that thesis statement in, you hit enter one time, center, then you type in your heading, bold face it, align text left, dent, and begin the first body paragraph with your topic sentences sentence from your outline. Your, your topic sentence should have a sequence word to identify its place in the order of your essay. Follow this structure. Say something in your words, then use a source to back it up with in-text citation. Then say something else in your own words and then back that up with an in-text citation or otherwise known as source usage. You can either quote from a source or summarize the info in it. In either case, it's author, comma, year, comma, page. Period. End the paragraph in your own words using a conclusion transition word or phrase okay and after you have gotten that body paragraph or paragraphs typed in you go to insert page break takes you to your last page home Align text center, type in the word references, double space, align text left, and it goes last name, comma, initial, period, parentheses, year of publication, 
period, title of source, capitalized, like a sentence, which means you capitalize only the first word, period. Then the publication. That it is a part of. Then the volume number. Then the issue number in parentheses. Then a comma. Page numbers all inclusive. can be a URL or name of database and it should be in that order your first choice is a DOI if there's no DOI you use a URL of the uh, website for the publication if there is no publication has no website you use name of database and then you want to use your hanging indention tool it's right up here it's that first triangle it says hanging indent and you indent it 